Welcome back to Executive Class. Although many resorts and hotels remain closed or with limited operations, that shouldn't be an excuse for canceling your summer holiday altogether. In fact, for owners of trailer homes, they've been able to find a place to stay pretty much anywhere they go. Anywhere like this empty farm lot in Calamba Laguna, which we've made our home for the day. Trailers, of course, aren't new. People, Westerners mostly, have been using them for recreation and as permanent homes. And yet it still hasn't caught on in the Philippines, which is strange because in a country with so many amazing destinations, but not enough rooms to accommodate tourists, a trailer home could be a great travel alternative. A trailer home is like a mobile hotel suite. All you need is a safe spot to park in and on level ground to keep the trailer from tipping. Ideally, in a place with a water and power line to connect to, so you can enjoy running water and electricity. Of course, there's always a motorhome as another option, which combines a car with a trailer. But one of the advantages of a trailer home is that, as you can see, you can detach the unit from your car. That way, you can drive your car around anywhere without having to lug this big thing along with you. And since the trailer isn't built into a motorized vehicle, you can change your car anytime without replacing the whole unit. This model, the Abbey, is one in a range of trailers manufactured by Swift in the UK and sold by Trailer Homes Philippines. The trailer is designed for days, even weeks on the road, and fitted out with all the amenities you'll need during your extended journey. It's spacious enough to accommodate a couple, plus a child or two, comfortably. And I like the fact that you can stand upright without bumping your head on the roof. On one side of the trailer is a living room for remote work and dining, which, with a few easy steps, can be transformed into a huge bed for sleeping. There's lots of cabinets as well for storing clothes and other personal belongings. On the other side is where the cooking and washing take place. This unit is equipped with essential appliances like a microwave oven, a gas stove, fridge and freezer, and a kitchen counter. And if you're connected to a power and a water line, which can be done safely and quickly, you can even get hot water out of the faucet and from the bathroom shower. The Abbey even has built-in air conditioning. Now, just in case you find yourself in a place without any electricity, like the beach or the mountains, for example, don't worry because the onboard battery will handle the lights for you. There won't be any air conditioning though, but you can always open the windows. And there are a lot of windows. And that's what I like about this. So many ways to bring in fresh air and sunlight so it never feels stuffy or claustrophobic. The retractable screens also help keep the trailer insect free. Indeed, if it wasn't on wheels, you'd forget it was a trailer to begin with because it does feel like home in here. This trailer even becomes your personal roadside coffee shop. But don't take my word for it. Take it from the owner who's taken the Abbey all across the Philippines on the back of his SUV. I've been to Banawe, Tagupan, Tagaytay, Mount Mayon, you know. So how does it work? You just like park it anywhere? Yes, I park everywhere. Whenever, you know, there's a beautiful scenery, I can stop, you know, stop and go. June has driven it as far as Cebu on a roro but his favorite memory is taking it up the mountain roads of Ifugao and parking it on a roadside overlooking the rice terraces of Banawe. Oh, it's wonderful, you know, when I park there, you know, overnight, in the morning I have coffee, then the windows are open, you know, in front of me is, you know, the rice terraces. Now, if you don't have the space in your home for a trailer, well, you can always opt to install a huge tent on the rooftop of your car, like this front runner system that you see over here. 
Of course, it doesn't have the same space or the amenities of a trailer home, but at least you can take it anywhere a 4x4 like this Lexus LX can take you, which means off-road, pretty much anywhere. So let's go. I've asked Premium Overland Outfitters, an off-road equipment shop in Pasig, to install one of the heavy-duty roof-mounted tents from Frontrunner for another camping trip in Tanay. Unlike the previous camp, this one I'm headed to doesn't provide pre-assembled tents, so I'm taking one that can be attached and transported on the roof of the Lexus and quickly deployed once I get there. The front-runner roof rack with a rooftop tent and awning kit is ideal for the journey. At just over 40 kilos, you hardly feel it on the roof or hear anything jiggling above while driving. Though the cabin sound damping technology and supple suspension system of the Lexus LX is partly the reason for this. The best campsites in Tanay are always farthest from the highway. Camp Koa is a good 15 minutes further into the foothills of the Shera Madre Mountains, through narrow barangay streets, extended patches of dirt road, and here and there a riverbed with loose rocks and water gushing downstream. The terrain is a great way to test the abilities of the Lexus LX, which although marketed as a luxury SUV, is just as capable as the Toyota Land Cruiser, its legendary off-road cousin. The Lexus, however, is far more refined and comfortable, and thanks to intelligent controls that make crawling on all fours over loose rock, mud, sand and water so simple, it's perfect for inexperienced off-road drivers. Camp Boa is located in a flat and wide-open clearing at the foot of the Sierra Madre Mountains. Ideal camping conditions, with six hectares of space to pick your own private corner. All right, we're here. Camp Boa, finally. On a trail like we just crossed, it isn't recommended to bring an RV or a trailer home with you just because the, the trail is quite challenging, unless the RV or trailer home was specifically built for off-roading. Unlike with this rooftop tent, you can take it anywhere as long as you've got a capable 4x4 vehicle with you. In fact, I hardly even felt it on the roof. The campsite is as pure as it gets, with no building complex, only grassland and riverbeds to pitch your own tent. Though to keep the place clean and hygienic, they built several outdoor showers and toilets. Before deploying your tent, take your time and scout around for the spot that suits you best. If scenery is your priority, there's a campsite right across the river. The flat ground surrounded by mountain views on all sides is ideal for a picnic. But without a tree to park under, you'll need something like Front Runner's awning to shelter you from the heat. A quick and simple system to deploy in less than five minutes. This is a scenic spot, and it's just one of so many spots you can choose here in Camp Boa. And as you can see, all I did was park the car and deploy the awning. Now, in case you want to move to another spot, you can do so. And it's just as easy. With the sun blazing overhead, I've decided to move to a cooler location along the riverbed. Yes, this is a spot I prefer. The tree line and river help cool the air, and the view from here is beautiful. And though the sandbar might be too moist a surface for pitching a tent, with a retractable rooftop system, there's no need to worry, because it's mounted on the car's roof instead. You just need a bit of time and help to assemble it. All right, you need this, right? Okay, it isn't exactly an instant pop-up tent. As you can see, you still need a little help from friends, but neither is it any different from setting up a regular tent on the ground. It takes about the same time to install and set up. Front runner tents are perfect for overlanding, whether it's a safari in Africa or in the outback of Australia. Places where you can drive your vehicle deep into the wild without having to look for a campsite. So you're probably asking, why not just pack a portable tent in the back of your car instead? Well, the simple answer is it probably won't fit. But the more important reason is you want the tent on top of your roof for this simple reason. You want to avoid mud in the ground and flooding when it rains. Plus, 
maybe some wild animals roaming at night. So think of it as a treehouse on wheels, a treehouse you can take anywhere. Once you're set up, you can spend the rest of the day enjoying the natural scenery or a nice meal under the trees. Although Camp Boa's facilities are very basic, just the essentials every camper needs, they could also arrange a gourmet picnic with wine on site, if you request it. This is my idea of camping after all. Loafing under the trees with good food, great coffee, an interesting company, and a tent close by for afternoon napping. With just a few days left in summer, it's great to enjoy the outdoors before the rains make camping in the open more challenging. But even if it starts to pour, it's good to know you have a roof to run to and a tent to shelter from the storm. One that's simple to pack and store on top of your vehicle. And take with you anywhere the trail leads you, whether it's off the map or back on the main road, en route to your next destination. And that's all for this episode of Executive Class. I'm David Seldran. Thanks for watching.